After your experience with microloans, do you believe that microlending is the best way to raise people out of poverty? Yo kuziga nyano kugura na na virakura ba nhu mubuke na kubera umuke nyeti adashobora kuronga hantu na hamwe akura mafaranga. Mugabo kubera uyu mugambe wo kuziga nyano kugura na na kubera duharuye abakenye tedi umuntu yihweje nk'ibintu biraba bana hama ugacubura cyo umwana umufashisha uza wumva biba baje cyane I was wondering why um, you think microfinance works better for women than for men Gituma bijya byo kuziganya no kugurana na bigenda neza ku bagore gusumba bagabo no kubera yuko abagore ari twe bantu turi nyuma twari twara kumiriwe kubera tutaje habona kandi tutigera turonka amafaranga ahama rero imana iraraba iraraba ukuntu yo yo twishura kungorane aba Kenya zibo mu Burundi bafise ama ibicisha mu uyu mugambi I was wondering um, what do you hope will happen in the future among women in your village as a result of your action Nukubera yuko bamaze kuronka izinyigisho ndabona yuko batandukanye n'ubuzima bahora mu kera ubu beshi barakingurane bakadanda za ibintu bitandukanye mu kurangura imigambi yabo kandi bakaba barijukiye barijukiye inyigisho zo gutandukanya imvyaro kubera bujya umugore aguma twari ndazi imisi yose bica bituma aburu kuntu yiteze imbere mu rugo gwiye kubera ya mahari hose ya marushe ari magoyagi nabana bakama baragwandika kubera ari intahekana ariko kubera twijukiye imigambi yo kuvyara ku rugero what do you think would be the best way for us as American high school students to get involved? Numba bo tere rivi umviro baka baka du fasha gushiki kiro wa mugambi kugira aba Kenyezi ba tere imbere kuwe gira uwa mugambi banda nyukore mo burundi dana zekwa no uko uwa mugambi wa kuagu kamu gehu gucho burundi kuwera aba nu. Beshi baba Kenya zivagi Kenya kandi ba bagi fisingo ra nengi zona ri infise ni fuza yuko aba Kenya zibo ose baba muki nigero baka jahaba na baki tabo muga ambi. There's also one thing you can do. Uh, you can actually support a piece of legislation that currently the U.S. Congress is talking about. It's called the Growth Act. And this bill would actually, again, increase the resources devoted to these kinds of programs. We would love for you to contact your senator or your representative to make sure that they support this bill. <laughs> nashaka kubabaza mwebwe yuko mu igituma abahungu nabakobwa bingana we had problems with this in our past in our history but we had strong women who set the path for us and set everything straight and made us all equal and come to the point where we can all do everything like men can do ikindi nagomba kubaza nashaka kubaza yuko Technically, yes, men and women are treated equal. They have the same um, voting rights and opportunities. In reality, there's a lot of disparity. Men and women who work the same jobs are not necessarily paid the same amounts. The number of women representatives in our government is certainly not equal to the number of men. Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. It really is very inspiring to see how far you've come and just to see what these microfinancing loans can really do. Your strides in this women movement have been very inspiring and you are making great strides in bettering yourself and your village. We are an all independent girls school and we um, appreciate your bravery and your commitment to microfinancing. We have a club here that focuses on microloans, so mm. we want to tell you that you've really inspired us to keep working, and we're definitely going to spread the word and keep your story in mind. So.